Welcome back, everybody. This segment is brought to you by Money Lion, the all-in-one financial platform that is positively changing the financial path of millions of Americans. Our next guests are on a mission to level the playing field for women everywhere. Peretta Autosport is the first female-owned, female-driven Indy car race team for the 2021 Indy 500. In case you didn't know, that is one of the most highly anticipated sporting events of the year. Joining us now, Beth Peretta, CEO and Team Principal of Peretta Autosport, and Simona Di Silvestro, IndyCar driver for Peretta Autosport. Ladies, welcome to the show. I am so excited to talk to you. Beth, I'll start with you. How did you get involved in the world of racing? As we know, it is a typically male-dominated sport. It has been for a long time. I started in business and automotive, and I worked for Volkswagen Group, Aston Martin, and then Fiat Chrysler. While at Fiat Chrysler, I was lucky enough to also manage all of the motorsport programs, including NASCAR and sports car racing, et cetera, and uh, was part of some winning teams, winning a NASCAR championship in 2012 and a sports car championship in 2014. So I've been around it on the business side, managing teams, making sure that all the parts run, and uh, saw this as an opportunity to bridge the gap between what's going on on the track and the skill set that's needed and to careers, and hopefully to inspire some women to either go our path of heading towards racing or other careers in automotive or other sort of suppliers and industries like that. I have no doubt you're inspiring so many women. It's just great to see females on the track. That question. So my next question is for Simona, because you started your racing career as a teenager. How important is it to have the support of other women on your career journey? Uh, yeah, it's really important, and uh, and I'm definitely seeing more and more uh, of it involvement, like uh, at the moment. So it's a, uh, like you said, I started my career pretty pretty young, uh, and now really, you know, I feel like that things are really coming together with Beth, uh, giving me this opportunity to come into uh, into Indy cars again to go to the 500. I think it's uh, it's super special, and uh, especially done right as well. You know, the the team uh, we have behind us is uh, is really strong. So. Uh, I think it's a really important uh, chapter for us, and uh, and I'm really looking forward to to going there. Well, I also know that you're in Zurich, Switzerland. I know it's late there, <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Beth, the work you guys are doing is inspiring for the next generation of female leaders. We alluded to that, but how important is it for young women to take charge of their finances? It's incredibly important, and that's why we're also really happy to be working with Money Lion because with what they do, it's a it's a wonderful fit. One of the things that is really critically important is financial literacy for women and financial independence. So although we are talking about skill sets and training and education for girls and STEM education that can lead to a career path, that goes hand in hand with financial literacy and financial independence. And even with me, with starting my own business, it was critical that I understood my finances and, and could figure out where I could invest and where I might need to borrow. And one of the things I think we all need to do is start having those conversations at a younger age and learn about saving and building credit because that is something that impacts us for life. And certainly for, you know, when we, we couple this with what we're doing about skill set, we also want with, uh, skills that are going to lead to careers, we also want to make sure that women can save for school or education or for um, building credit for when they need to get their first apartment or are wanting to buy a house and get a mortgage. And so we're weaving all of that in because we're lucky enough with our program to start talking to girls in middle school and sometimes even younger, but really focusing on middle school and high school. And so we're going to be talking to them about finances from the beginning. And that's why partnering with Money Lion was uh, was not by accident. Their campaign called Hear Women Roar is to really integrate the conversations around finance uh, and, and have that sort of be a seamless conversation. Let's talk to you about school and education and a career path, but let's also talk about why finance is important, especially personal finance. So that's what we're doing. I love that. I wish I had that kind of Same. those subjects, right? It would have changed yeah, my life, right? definitely. I'm glad you're doing this for young girls. Simona, what advice do you have for women seeking careers in those male-dominated industries like racing? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think the the big thing is just to to really believe in yourself. You know, you um like I went into racing, you know, not really thinking. Uh, about it too much you know I loved driving cars I loved going fast and uh, uh, I never thought you know being a female could be anything different so I, when I went into it I was just like really really focused on myself and believed in myself and uh, uh, here I am today so I think uh, the, the biggest advice is really yeah believe in yourself and and don't be afraid to to go the way you want to go and and I think that's uh, kind of the bigger biggest message out there. 
Absolutely, and sometimes the most challenging to overcome, so I'm so glad you said that. And Beth, we know the Indy 500 is the largest single-day sporting event in the world, so why is this year's in particular so groundbreaking, and when can people tune in? Well, the Indy 500 is uh, is an amazing event. It's enormous. We're going to have fans there this year, which is exciting. And the reason why it's groundbreaking this year is with the entry of our team, Pareto Autosport, trying to qualify and trying to campaign in the race. This is the first time that we're going to have a female forward team. Almost all the roles will be filled. It's going to be co-ed, but most of the roles will be filled by women. We're going to have women going over the wall for pit stops. Uh, we have... Uh, I don't want to give the, the final number yet because we're still in the phases of, of, of onboarding some of our team, but it is absolutely going to be a race to watch and hopefully we'll uh, get people to notice what we're doing and that we, we've worked hard to get here and that we are working hard to make sure that we can earn a place on the grid on, on race day. And, and although Simona is doing a lot of the work, there's a lot of people behind her that are uh, getting the car ready and making all of, the, all of the pieces behind the scenes happen and are able to perform also on race day to support her and and this effort so for the first time ever you're going to see a majority female team and that's never happened and you can watch it on may 30th so it's memorial day weekend sunday memorial day weekend and it'll be on nbc so hopefully you guys can tune in i will tune in i will be rooting for you you guys are such trailblazers such inspiring women thank you for your time on the show beth peretta ceo and team principal of peretta autosport and simone z silvestro indycar driver for peretta autosport ladies again thank you and now we can bank, borrow, save, and grow all in one app. Visit moneylion.com to learn more.